Hello guys, it's Tomek here from Nikos Training Academy and uh, in this video I would like to show you some pairs which in my opinion are good to uh, look for possible trades in upcoming uh, week. Uh, most of pairs, uh, we had like sharp moves on the um, GP pairs because of the uh, Brexit situation uh, and also many pairs are in upgoing trend so probably we might uh, have some maybe bigger retracements or continuations from higher time frames uh, trends so let's check Aussie cat uh, this is the weekly chart and what we see here the, sen the scenario is still for the short on the weekly because what we see price is still making the lower lows and lower highs right now is uh, retesting the 36 EMA with the 603 EMA and also if we check we have the resistance level around this area we see how price reacted so uh, because we are um, around this zone we still might get um, retest and possible continuation maybe to the previous lows where is our next um, weekly support level here so this move might be uh, still good 500 pips in case of the breakout we might have continuation of the long uh, scenarios but if we check on the lower time frames this will be of course <coughs> be really late entry because price already moved uh, like 550 pips without any bigger retracements on the lower time frames but in case if price would like to go up uh, the next resistance is the 200 EMA and let's check uh, horizontal levels and the next one uh, which we can find this is not easy chart on on the weekly but is somewhere around this uh, zone if we look for the trend lines on the weekly chart we will see that we have the trend line but this line is not confirmed yet because we still see that uh, price is playing around if we get a continuation of the down move then we can say okay we have confirmation that this line is uh, valid another line is here so this this also can gives us another area for bounce but of course it will take some time if price of course wants to continue to go up so what we have on the lower time frames uh, 200 TMAs like I said really big move without any bigger retracements so let's let's check because we are on the resistance like I said we might have possible retracements of course our target in case if price would like to bounce around this is the 36 CMA and the trend line so if we see that uh, correction is going okay this is our area where we uh, have to manage because what price might to do again will bounce and maybe will continue to go up to retest the resistance or will continue to go up even higher uh, of course we still want to be in this position uh, even if price uh, retest this because um, uh, if we see that price is playing around that there is no continuation uh, we might get breakout and price will go again down to, to, to this level but this zone is good to start to look for possible short scenarios as a bounce uh, option we see that price right now it's making like double top on the four hour time frame is retesting so how we can try to look for possible um, bounces we have the trend line here we can just let me delete those EMAs it will be cleaner uh, we can wait for trend line breakout and then after trend line breakout we of course wait for our setup which is the one to three and then we can look for sales to this zone uh, or of course lower time frames uh, we can wait for this I wouldn't trade in this area here because it's a little bit too aggressive okay um, if you still want to take the longs it's possible because short term um, trend is for longs but remember that this will be l really late long so you have to uh, for longs what you have to do is just to wait to see the breakout another higher high higher low and then you can start to mix maybe with lower time frames uh, like 15 minute 5 minute because this will be really late Aussie yen another pair and <coughs> the pressure for this pair was also short and price started to range right now if we look for the support levels and the resistance levels we will see that on the weekly chart we have something like that and price is right now spiking around this zone so if we um, if we get the breakout price might continue back to the 603 EMA 200 EMA and also resistance level where um, with this previous spikes here with some touches so we might get really nice uh, move but if price reject this of course maybe you will have confirmation and price will continue uh, to range so let's go to the daily chart and what we will see 
here it's that price is uh, right now playing around on the resistance so we have like like I said we have uh, we might have two scenarios breakout continuation or bounce and possible down move yes so again this is uh, per uh, for scenarios in both direction right now yes we can just if we look for the trend line we see okay trend line was broken but uh, price went up we can uh, draw different angle of the line uh, here so <coughs> And if we look, we can maybe draw it something like this. So we will see that, okay, price is squeezed here. So what we need to see is, of course, simply wait for breakout from this area. And then we look for the longs for possible continuation. And for the short entries, we try to target even this area um, here on those lows. If we go to the one hour time frame again, uh, new higher high, higher low, take the longs if you see, okay, lower low lower high look for the short entry so right now it's better to wait patiently to see that price is going out from this range Aussie dollar New Zealand dollar weekly time frame um, what we see here is that price is reaching really powerful trend line right now uh, of course it's not like uh, it looks like price touched but if we go to the lower time frames we will see that there is still a chance that price might to go down of course this is really good line so price might again bounce like we see here pre previously price was retesting was going up retest was going up so maybe you again we'll see exactly the same uh, if we look for uh, this um, zone we'll see that price is like in this uh, range right now that's why retesting this continuation might happen uh, of course uh, we see that this is not like price is going straight forward um, here so we have to look for possible next resistance levels on the weekly chart and on the weekly chart we will find something around this um, zone of course if we trade in the range uh, we also can manage the pair around the 50 percent and if we look for this this is also the resistance um, area so let's check on the daily time frame what we have and like I said we still see that price might go and treat as this area let's unzoom a little bit the daily chart to find the next levels and the resistance yes the resistance like we said it's somewhere around this point so what we might have here maybe we'll see that price is uh, retesting the 36 EMA we will have the retracement and possible continuation back to this area again Yes, to retest the trend line and maybe then from this point price will do uh, this and will continue to go up of course this move might start from that and we will see that price is going straight forward up back to the uh, back to this trend line uh, <coughs> so what we can do we also have the trend line uh, here yes yeah, so of course this gives us the area where price might to bounce if we check the lower time frames right now uh, price is squeezed we have like uh, this small range here on the four hour time frame so what we can do we can we can trade in both direction the thing is that here we should focus on the really low time frames like five minutes 15 minutes because we don't know if price continue to go maybe this will be like false breakout retest of the lows and then again price uh, will do this and will will go up but for the longs we can also uh, try to look for the one hour uh, time frame because we know that our target is good enough yes we have we have to wait for this then we can take the longs target the resistance we see that this is like uh, 100 pips more or less uh, yes the resistance trend line 36 EMA is a really good target uh, but we have to wait for breakouts of this and then uh, look for the longs and breakout of this but then lower time frames uh, scenarios like five or 15 minutes uh, next pair is Euro New Zealand this well, this had really powerful move we see on the weekly chart it was like 1300 pips and what we see on the weekly chart is that price is reaching the support level plus it's close to the 200 uh, EMA if you look for the support level we see that um, it's it's a good one we also have the next one a little bit lower somewhere around this uh, area here and <coughs> price might bounce from this area and maybe we'll have some retracements cor uh, correction and then continuations of the down move or we'll still see drop of this pair 200 is the target and of course this 
area because on the daily chart if we look for the daily this was really straightforward move without any bigger retracements and uh, price is reaching right now 603 and EMA maybe you will get those bigger retracements yes uh, to see some correction back to the 36 EMA 200 and then continuation of the down move um, daily chart trend line is here so we see that it's close to our 36 CMA which is of course our profit zone um, so let's go to the lower time frames and what we see on the lower time frames is of course strong powerful down move price is ranging right now and <coughs> what we see we will not have any it's it's like we have really steep volatility line so what we can do we can wait for the four hour chart one two three here even four hour because uh, the target is quite quite big like almost 500 pips so that's why we can wait for the four hour chart we know okay support bounce if we see that price would like to retrace uh, we take the action or we go to the lower time frames like one hour time frame but we have to wait ideally uh, to see that price is breaking the 36 EMA uh, but with when we see the breakout probably will also get a higher high and higher low which we would like to see here right now in this case yes we would like to see this and then we take the action uh, on this pair remember that we will trade in the retracement against the main move because the daily and weekly if uh, are pointing down right uh, right now uh, but this is really good opportunity because of the level where um, the price is right now and we will trade in the uh, retracement so this is plan my plan for the euro new zealand next is euro dollar um, for now um, I would just be careful with this pair but let's see what we have the thing is that uh, we had last week we had this breakout of the support level here uh, there was support it looked like double bottom but and on the lower time frames it looked like a breakout and possible continuation of the down move but after um, end of the week we see that this is only a spike this is only a spike so price is not con there is no continuation but it looks like price might to go up again yes the next resistance on this pair is here so we might have this is the 36 200 so another possible uh, 400 pip move maybe and <coughs> right now we still uh, see that this area here is like the resistance we see the previous moves spike spike so that's why uh, nothing new with this spike yes uh, and this is still area of the support level uh, so what we have on the daily this is a little bit confusing pair uh, because on the daily we still see that uh, we have the down move yes price is making the lower lows and it's making the lower highs uh, it's making our scenario for possible short entries yes we have like it looks like it's making the daily short one to three with this line so again we might still get some something uh, this might be the false breakout or this is only like breakout retest and possible continuation so if we would like to trade short entry still on this pair it's better to uh, look for the lower time frame combinations and e not even the four hour chart but maybe when we see that price is breaking this trend line here five minute 15 minutes maybe one hour chart because what we would like to achieve is to try to manage the pair before the lows uh, before the lows because what we still might have in this case it's like we still get the down move yes back to this zone and price will continue to go up and we'll get like higher um, higher low on the daily chart for example we don't know yes this is only the scenario that's why we would like to manage this really really fast after breakout Yes, after breakout look for the short entries and of course uh, because this is support we might get bounced and price might go up we also can wait for longs uh, the next level to manage the pair is here it's the resistance um, area and um, we wait for the longs ideally this would be the best solution uh, the best setup to look for retracement and then possible breakouts like this but uh, also here we don't want to wait for the four hour chart we would like to go like uh, one hour uh, time frame because um, we see that our target is uh, it's like 100 pips so we don't want to wait for the four hour chart to form but uh, we just um, go to the lower time frames and try to take early entry so we wait for breakouts on the euro dollar and the last pair is New Zealand dollar US dollar 
which is um, in also really powerful down move and again right now we have the retracement so we, you see that a lot of pairs are retracing on the higher time frames but still we might have continuation of those uh, moves so what we see uh, down move resistance level really pow powerful we see how price reacting even here after breakout we have the range and right now price is here so possible continuation to on the weekly chart we have the some support level here if we see that price is breaking this zone the next resistance area is here and then of course we can try to target uh, this zone with the uh, EMAs but of course first must break, uh, price must break this one <clears throat> and if we look this was also a powerful up move without any bigger re retracements right now this is the daily trend line so because we are on the really good resistance maybe we'll see the retracement back to the 36 back to the trend line and if price still wants to continue then we can easily have this if not this is the zone where we want to manage the pair because price still might bounce and will go up maybe to retest the resistance or for continuation to the bigger uh, move we don't know that's why we want to manage the pair here uh, if we go to the 4 hour time frame we see uh, that price of course is going up nice move uh, trend line on the 4 hour chart is here which is which might be our next possible area to manage we see that we have only like two touches but this is really clean line it's not like we have to think too much where to draw the line so if we decide to take the short bounces maybe it will be even better to watch the pair around this uh, trend line here and another line is here and of course to look for the cells what we would like to see is a trend line breakout yes we have the trend line on the four hour chart and what we would like to get is this uh, this is about the short bounce and en entries and of course this trend line and then daily levels like we said but aggressively for intraday tra uh, traders uh, we still see that price is on the one hour chart we had this move and is making like higher high higher low so it's it's set up for us right now yes price is making our one to three scenario here uh, so if you see the volatility really if you see the volatility you what you can do you can go to the five minute time frame and start to look for setups on the five minute uh, chart yes because this is still with the up move uh, from the daily chart but what we would like to why we would like to take it on the five minute because this is the really late entry yes so um, at some point price really might to retrace maybe this will be move only to retest the highs and then price will go down so so that's why we would like to take it on the five minute uh, five minute uh, time frame okay guys so I hope you enjoyed this video and of course uh, talk to you soon Bye.